understand that in the state of Wisconsin, we have enacted a concealed carry law. People are allowed to pack heat. And so I, I want to inform you that tonight I'm packing. I've got a powerful weapon. Weapon that strikes fear in the hearts of bankers and CEOs and billionaire campaign donors. Weapon that can take out governors. Weapon that can take out lieutenant governors. Weapon that can take out state senators. It's a scary weapon. Powerful weapon. You know, my hero, Woody Guthrie, said, some men rob you with a six-gun, some do it with a fountain pen. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you my weapon. It's a recall petition. tell you something, Woody Guthrie was right. The fountain pen is more powerful than any gun will ever be. I'm not concealing the recall petition anymore. I'm carrying it on the streets. Five hundred and forty thousand magnum. It's a damn powerful weapon. needed this rally to give people a little pep, a little energy, to get people excited about this movement. Then I saw the St. Norbert's poll. Showed that 58% of Wisconsinites already want to recall Scott Walker. And I thought to myself, well, geez, maybe we don't need to pep things up. Maybe we have already arrived. And then I looked at the Ohio referendum results, and I saw they got to 61%. So I realized we've got to turn it up three more points. Because if we can beat Ohio State in football, we can beat Ohio State in turning back the end. growing demographic in that St. Norbert's poll was strongly disliked Scott Walker. Is there another choice? <laughs> yeah, it involves horns and double stuff. It's very scary. But, uh, but no, it was honestly, honestly that the, the movement in the St. Norbert's poll was from, I don't know, to, I really don't like this guy. To I get up every morning and swear an oath to remove this man from office. But the number I like the best in that poll because you know my, my people are uh, Republican people. No, I, I, my folks who came up in the party of Lincoln, the party of anti-slavery, party of anti-corporate. So I was very pleased to see that my brothers and sisters in the Republican Party are coming home. One quarter of the respondents to the St. Norbert's poll who identified themselves as Republicans said they want Scott Walker recalled. No, they won't. They actually won't. He was going to go down there. You saw, and then they, they canceled. Yo, 
you'll have to get the Koch brothers check in the mail. <laughs> but you know, Governor Walker looked at that St. Norbert's poll and he said to his friend Sean Hannity, that's a problem for Governor Walker. There's nobody left to lie to in Wisconsin. He's got to go to New York City to find somebody that will buy his line. But he said, the St. Norbert's poll is notoriously inaccurate. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, damn. I thought 58% of the people in Wisconsin opposed Scott Walker. And I thought, well, how notoriously inaccurate is this poll? And so I went back to 2010, and I saw what the last St. Norbert's poll said about Scott Walker's candidacy for governor of Wisconsin. The poll issued two weeks before the election said Scott Walker was going to win. But they did undershoot his winning number by two points. And so, in fact, the St. Norbert's poll may be notoriously inaccurate. It may not be 58%. We may already be to 60% opposition. But I want to tell you, I do not, I'm not a poll junkie. I'm a political junkie, but I'm not a poll junkie. I like my politics real. I like human beings. And so I went down and saw my mom in Burlington, Wisconsin. Now, Burlington, Wisconsin voted for Richard Nixon for president. Voted for Ronald Reagan for president. Voted for the smart Bush for president. Voted for the dumb Bush for president. Although now we've found out that George W. Bush was the smart governor of Texas. <laughs> there were three more things I was going to say, but I only remember two. <laughs> Burlington even voted for John McCain for president of the United States. Now in Burlington, they turn out about 4,000 people for a gubernatorial election. Well, on the first day of the recall drive, 600 people in Burlington signed the petitions. They are all ready to 15% of the total. We only need 25% to recall the guy. I want to tell you, though, my favorite moment of this entire movement, and I've only had about 500 to 1,000 favorite moments of this entire movement. My favorite moment of this entire movement was the second big Saturday out on the square. That was a good Saturday. It was snowing cold, frigid as can be. I was standing with my friend Joel Greeno from the Family Farm Defenders. Woo! Joel and I are talking farm stuff. And this woman comes over. She's an MATC professor and she leans into us with her sign and she just says, I'm glad it started here. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, Imagine what we have started in this country. Because what's happening here is happening all across America. Last night, I was on the streets of lower Manhattan, marching out of Zuccotti Park, no longer contained in a park, but taking the Occupy movement throughout the city. Taking the Occupy movement throughout this country. And as Mary Kay Henry, the president of the Service Employees Union, was about to be 
being arrested. We're standing there by the line and she says, by the way, tell me how it's going in Wisconsin. <laughs> Nobody misses the connection. We occupied the Capitol for three weeks and now our people are occupying the United States of America. stopping on Wall Street. We're not stopping on the bridges. We're going to occupy the polling places. I'll take you back a long way to November 8th, 2011. Election day. You know, I've come to dread election days, but not this time. What happened across America? Given the opportunity, Americans voted for public education and public services in Michigan. They voted for immigrant rights in Arizona. They voted for voting rights in Maine. And they voted for labor rights in Ohio, across this country. And what brought all of those votes together? Not a one of them was started by a politician or a political party. Every one of those votes, the recall in Michigan, the recall in Arizona, the referendum in Maine, the referendum in Ohio, every one of those started with a petition on the streets, the people taking back democracy and saying, we hold elections on our schedule, not the schedule of the politicians. No more. This is our democracy. is what democracy looks like. And you know there's a lot of powerful people that do not like it. But that's all right by me. That's all right because you know sometimes you got to have a fight in order to win. So I want to think about this brothers and sisters. Let's let's take ourselves just here right now. They're going to tell you we don't have a chance. They'll even they'll show us polls and they'll still tell us we don't have a chance. They will preach to us about our powerlessness. They will show us the money. They will push at us from every direction and we will sometimes begin to question whether we can do this thing. Understand, it's no longer about us. When the slaves ran from the plantations, when they hid by day and moved by night, Sojourner Truth said, follow the North Star. When I look at that flag of the United States and I see it ripple just right, there's a star up there in the middle of the top line, Lake Superior and the Canadian border. That's Wisconsin star. That's Wisconsin star. This is the greatest state in the United States. This is the finest state in this country. We're going to get... What's that, brother? The North shall rise again. That's right, brother. Now, but that star up there, I tell you, you follow the North Star, understand what we're talking about here. Understand what we're talking about here. We will not get 540,000 signatures on petitions to recall Skywalker and Rebecca Fleetfish. We will not get 540,000 signatures. We will get a million signatures on to remove Scott Walker and Rebecca Clinkfish from office. And that message will go out from Wisconsin to every state in this union and people in Alabama and Mississippi and Kentucky and Ohio and Pennsylvania and Maine and New York and California will say, we're not waiting anymore. 
We're not putting up with the politics of compromise. Wisconsin showed us the way. Wisconsin showed us. We can vote for economic and social justice, for peace and a civil society. And damn it, we're going to start doing it. We're going to recall our governors if they fail us. We're going to recall our legislators if they fail us. We're going to put the issues on the ballot. And we're going to say to Republicans, if you sin against the worker, you will be removed from office. But you know what? We're going to say it to the Democrats, too. No! Wisconsin back. We're taking America back and we're on our way. Solidarity, brothers and sisters.